Here's the tail of the tape, guys. Devon, age 26, two, reach of 72, weight of 186. Mr. Tim Walker, Owen, one as an amateur, height 6'3", reach of 78, a six, eight, six inch reach advantage. Say that three times fast. The weight of 185 with the middleweight championship weight. All right, here we go. Hitting out of the red corner, wearing black. Walker out of the blue corner. Ooh. <laughs> Not wasting any time. Not at all. Oh. Nice. I love that transition to the takedown. He Beautiful came in mount. straight, tall. Was, looked like he was he was there to strike and then just hit a beautiful double under. Right. Takedown. Ooh, punches and bunches right here from Henton. Oh my gosh, it might be over here soon, Dave. Walker's got a buck up oh. out of this. There nice, he goes. there you go. Oh, Walker transitions. Great. Oh, he's coming. Ooh. Big shots here by Walker. Walker. That six inch reach advantage. Walker is really trying to unload here. Wow, Devin back on top. Yeah, Devon seems like the more uh, experienced grappler here tonight. Jumps on the back. Could be a little too high here. Walker trying to sneak back. Yep, gets on top again. Oh, beautiful Kamara here. Let's see if, ah, great job of stepping over. That was exactly what he needed to do. He's not out of trouble completely yet, but fantastic right. job by stepping over that leg here to, to stop the leverage on that. Oh, he went right back in though. That was interesting. He's got a yes. He's got a, he can, he can actually utilize and sweep him here if, if he wanted, but that's nasty. Just got to keep that, as long as he keeps a hold of the elbow, he's good. That, see, there's the sweep there. Beautiful job of capitalizing on that. Great job stepping over. Let's see if he can. Let's the arm go. Yeah, he does, but. But settles for this position here. I would take that Great position. Great, yeah. absolutely. It's actually, to me, it's one of the most, I think one of my favorite positions. If I was a mixed martial artist, I would love this. It just seems you're so heavy on top. You have uh, so many, you have skills to pound. You, you, there are definitely submission attempts here that you can go for. It is, There's there. it is a great position. The only thing is you see the hips, uh, there's a lot of room for the hips to move around. That's why they constantly kind of, he's trying to get over the hips and right. get, gain a little bit more control. But you're right, there's there are so many options, that ways that you can go. You can attack the arms, you can attack the head. You can, you can just continue to onslaught and, and create damage. Really good first round. All right, round two. Walker throwing punches again. Big punches here. Hinton back into the grappling game. So he's got the single here. Let's see if he can <clears throat> utilize it. I love this. We got moms or wives or significant others. <laughs> you got two different quarters, and I love it. They're up cheering their tails off. Oh, those are big hey, shots big there. Big strikes by Walker. Wow. Look at those shots. See, that is, that's the space that you yep. want. That's the space you want to create. Big punches here. Could end the fight. Devin's not in a good position. Wow. Transitions back on Mount. Beautiful job. It's like your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. Yeah, and that's what it is. It's a battle of the will. Oh, big punch oh. by Walker. Oh. Nice. Ooh, low blow to look like. 
That's, that was right here in front of us. Walker needs to create space. Walker's doing a great job, though, of turning. You see how he's turning, which is allowing him to create this kind of space here and open up. I, <laughs> what, gosh, what a, what a. Hinton looks exhausted right now. What a grueling pace is what I was going to say. This is a very grueling fight. They're, it's back and forth. They're carrying each other's weight. Yeah. It, it's, it's just a grueling style of fighting that these two have chose to engage in tonight. And I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. In one of the fighter interviews you talked about, especially, people don't understand how exhausting it is to grapple. Right. Like people do not get that. The common fan, it is more, I think, more exhausting to grapple than to stand and strike. I think that it's it's different cardio systems that you have to tap into. Mm. Um, striking is very different. It's almost like a run. It's a running. It's a jumping. It's like that little short movement. And grappling is more like uh, pulling a sled, pushing a sled. It's like it's that constant. You get resistance constantly, and you've got to press through it, pull through it. Oh. Oh, oh, big overhand right by Walker. Oh my God, if he can land this right hand, it, it can be lights out. Hen doing a fantastic job though of grappling here, man. He's done a great job all night long. He's got the back. He's got the back, he's got him flat. I think he's got it in. He's got a short choke, he's, no, but. Walker's doing a great job of fighting hands right here. As long as yes. he doesn't stop fighting hands, he should be able to survive in this. He's got to keep fighting hands, though. Look at the neck crank right now for Hinton. Beautiful short choke. He's just got to keep fighting those hands. Keep turning his shoulders here. There he goes. Great job of, of fighting in this position. And Greg, and you got to give hats off to Hinton here because he is ch he's chaining his submission attempts together. Way to follow the body. Great job there to follow. 10 seconds. Can he get the submission off? Wow. wow. He survives. What a performance. Gosh, he's at the game. All right, round three. <laughs> oh, oh. Devin comes up with an overhand right. Love that. Oh. Walker pushes away. Walker. Big strikes here. Walker's got to keep space, man. He's got such beautiful strikes when he's got space. One thing, he, he leans too much into his punches. Yes. He doesn't punch, he, he leans, he lunges. So he's pushing into his punches. Right, right. And, and it's just him trying to generate power. He hasn't quite figured out how to pivot and turn his hips over and shoulders over. But he's got, he's got a beautiful straight, look at that, look at that. Three in a row there by Walker. Four, five. He's creating space though now. Devin's a walking zombie right now. Oh, God. Tim Walker can put him away. Oh, oh, is he's going to go down soon. He keeps, keeps going. He's got to keep the space. Don't let this, let, don't let him grapple. But Hinton doing a great job of pushing and closing the distance in this fight. This is the way you survive an onslaught. This is the way you survive someone striking. Is you close the distance like he's doing and you don't stop. He could sneak in a little guillotine right here. It looks like he's attempting to, unless he's just trying to stop the takedown. Oh! He and he's leaving his neck wide open for it. He's, he's, he's gassed. That's what's happening. He's gassed. Let's see if he can, he can pick his head up. If he can peek his head out here and get his hips down, he might be able to finish his takedown and turn, turn the corner on this. Walker can't allow for this though. He's gotta he's gotta turn his hips off of the ropes and get the space he needs. But I mean it's been such a grueling fight. I, I you can't be mad at these two gentlemen. One Sorry. minute left of round number three. Ooh. Oh. oh my god, he's knocking his mouthpiece out, he's knocking it back in. Walker could put Devin away. He should go to the body a little bit. Oh, what a great call there by Pearl. You have one massive body shot, the oh. fight would be over. Oh! <laughs> These are working though. 
Devin is trying to wrestle to stop this onslaught. This could be borderline 10-8 round. But Hinton is not giving up here. Look at how tired and fatigued he is. He's not stopping here. He's not giving up on this takedown. He's not. He's pressing the pace, if you really think about it. He's pressing the action here. And as tired and fatigued as he is, you got it. Hats off to him. What a great performance. But he doesn't want to end it like this. Action's going to end right in front of us. Three seconds up to round number three. Walker versus Henton. Oh. Massive body shot to end oh, it. Fantastic. What fight. a great fight. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the bout identically, 29 to 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, from the blue corner, T.J. Walker. All right, let's talk with your winner. Tim Walker, what a great fight, grueling fight. We just switched the kickbox into oh, MMA. How you feeling right now? I feel good, I feel great. All praise the most high, holler. All praise the glory, hallelujah. Thank you for my coaching staff. Kurt, Terry, Alex, Cobra, Justin Lucifer, baby. Last thing for you, we would love to see you back here for anything, any shout outs to your two beautiful kids at home. I love you, daddy love you, I'm coming soon, baby. Daddy love you, can't wait to hug and kiss y'all both. There we go, guys, congratulations to the winner, DJ Walker. <laughs>